Hey guys, this is Zetofan27 right here with another tutorial on 3D panning within Vegas. Now, when I say 3D panning, what we're typically doing, what we really are doing, is just using the track motion feature to get this 3D pan feature. So I have my clip right here, as you can see. And, you know, just to like maybe introduce the clip, maybe like if I was doing an intro or something, I want it to come in in, th in the 3D mode. Something really cool like that. So, I'm just going to go to our track motion feature for this clip, which is found right here. And I'm using Vegas 6.0. And you're going to be prompted with something like this. Now, not many people actually realize you can actually go in 3D with all this just by going right here in the drop down menu and then go into 3D Source Alpha. And as you can see here, you can rotate the different axes, X, Y, and Z axes, and you can get a 3D motion see as you can see the screen over here how the object can be moved in a 3d format and if I just wanted to rotate it that way so say for instance I wanted it to come in like that and then you know at this point in time I wanted it to see you can see the motion of it as it rotates and say here right about here I want it to come back I could just always go back to default at that time period and so you can get this really cool effect play this and you're t you're, you really are panning in a 3D motion so as far as that goes that's how 3D panning will work in Vegas um, other things you can take notice of is how deep you want it as far as the depth goes of your 3D motion. Uh, See, so watch if we increase the depth. It's actually, see how far, it's actually farther back in our 3D space that we have right here. So if you wanted it to come, you know, we'll start from the beginning. You want it at that 12. And then say here you wanted it, see, you can almost zoom in with a 3D motion with that. And other things to take into notice are, you know, you can actually change it manually with the numbers for the offsets, what kind of movement you want as far as your keyframes, and that's pretty much it. So if for those who don't have Adobe After Effects or someone who's just looking for something really easy to track 3D motion in, I recommend